This is a video review of the film. The film contains actors over 18 years of age. The video is made for entertainment purposes. The author of the video does not intend to offend anyone. Hello everyone. Today I will talk about the movie Accidental Love. A small town waitress gets a nail accidentally lodged in her head, causing unpredictable behavior that leads her to Washington. Alice works as a waitress in a diner. While working, she roller skates and entertains visitors. Alice's parents come to the diner and tell them that Scott came to them today and told them that he wants to marry Alice. Scott arrives on a motorcycle to the restaurant. He shows Alice his new Bluetooth glasses and invites her on a date. Alice agrees. In the evening, they have dinner at an expensive restaurant and Scott is about to confess his love, but a worker interferes with him. Do you know how long that's gonna be? I don't mind if you eat while I work. Scott takes out a ring and puts it on his lover's finger. But at this happy moment, the worker falls down the stairs. <laughs> Scott brings Alice to the hospital and the doctors examine her. The nail is stuck deep in the skull and urgent surgery is needed. But suddenly, it turns out that Alice does not have health insurance and the doctors refuse to perform the operation. They say the cost of brain surgery is $150,000. Scott says he can't pay that amount. He asks the doctors what will happen if everything is left as it is. Doctors say that Alice may develop different symptoms. For example, sometimes she will behave aggressively. Scott takes the ring off her finger and says that they need to postpone the wedding. At this time, Alice's parents arrive and say that they will pay for everything. But when they find out the price, they say that they don't have that much money. Alice doesn't know what to do. She doesn't want to become crazy. The parents come up with a plan. They are opening a fund to raise money for anyone who needs special medical care. Many guests come to the party who also suffer from diseases that they cannot cure because they do not have insurance. Alice meets Keishan, who has a problem with his butt, and ex-priest Norm, who has a problem with his crotch. Pastor Norm has been taking medication, and now he always feels tension in his pants. After the party, they count the money but people donated only $600, and that certainly won't be enough. Then Alice's aunt decided to offer her help. A woman works as a veterinarian and wants to perform brain surgery herself. I think I can handle this. Uh. Scott is against this idea, but Alice sees no other options and agrees to have the operation right at home. I hope I'm not just making the whole bit. Oh, I lost the grip. The nail injures the brain, and Alice begins to panic and says some nonsense. She thinks her brain is leaking out. Scott approaches Alice and tries to calm her down and tells her that they need to break up. He doesn't want to marry a crazy girl. Scott says that if she fixes her brain, he will come back to her. But now he has to go. Alice becomes depressed and sometimes goes crazy. Pastor Norm and Keishan came to support Alice. They ask her not to despair and hope that someone can help them. At this moment, Alice notices a handsome man on TV who helps people and promises to help everyone who comes to him. Alice is sure that he is a virtue and she wants to go to him in Washington. Pastor Norm and Keishan say that they will go with her and help her. Soon they arrive in Washington and enter the congressional building. At the entrance, security checks them and they find a nail gun on Alice. Security detains the girl, but Kishin uses his charm and asks the female security guard out on a date. Alice says she came to Howard for a consultation. Security lets them in, but Kishin decides to stay to talk to his new friend, Rakisha. Alice finds the office where Howard is, but she is not allowed there. Howard is very busy talking on the phone with his mom. At this moment, Pam Hendrickson, a former astronaut who now works in Parliament, enters the corridor. A woman comes into Howard's office and says that he must carry out her instructions. She wants to build a military base on the moon. Howard must find an ordinary person with an interesting biography who will publicly support this project. Howard doesn't want to help her, but he has no choice. The woman has a second assistant who reports that she has enlisted the support of the Girl Scouts, but of course fraudulently. Because I told them we would get Shakira for the National Jamboree. Pam leaves the office and her personal assistant gives Howard some advice. Meanwhile, Pastor begins to experience severe discomfort in his pants and leaves for the hotel. Alice is not going to give up and decides to enter any office and achieve her goals. But she is kicked out and her bag is torn. Howard comes to meet Alice. Alice stops him and tells him about her problem and the problem of her friends. She says the law needs to be changed so that people without insurance can get health care. 
Howard says he would love to help her, but he can't because he doesn't decide anything and is just a young congressman. He only does what he is ordered to do and not what he wants to do himself. Alice can't believe that Howard deceived her and other people who saw the commercial on TV. Suddenly, Alice gets hit on the head. Or wow. Mrs. Or After being hit in the head, Alice begins to behave strangely. She approaches Howard and kisses him. They go to the office and start burning calories. Alice says she doesn't control herself from time to time, but Howard likes it. He decides that Alice can help him complete the task he recently received. He invites her to appear on television and talk about her problem and that she supports the construction of a lunar base. But Alice knows nothing about the lunar base. All you need to know is that it keeps us safe and non-blown up. Howard promises her that he will help create a new law that will help sick people get help. The pastor is surprised at how Alice managed to come to an agreement with Howard. He asks what she had to do for this. Even now, Alice can barely restrain herself from attacking the Holy Father. Kishan says he had a great time with Rakisha, but he didn't tell her that he also had health problems because he was afraid that she would leave him. In the evening, they come to a conference together where Howard meets them. The Girl Scouts are the first to be interviewed and ask the government to approve the construction of a military base on the moon. Alice is next to stand in front of the camera. I have a nail in my head, so I need a moon base. Alice very touchingly describes her problem and asks the government to approve the project to build a military base on the moon. It makes the moon like one of our states, keeping us safe and non-blown up. Everyone was delighted with Alice's speech. Howard liked the speech most of all. He understands that this woman became his salvation. They go to a hotel and have a party, drink beer and have fun. Soon only Alice and Howard are left in the room. Howard says that he always wanted to help people and as a child, he wanted to be a ranger. But his mother forced him to go into politics. He admits that Alice is the woman he always needed. Alice says that now the nail in her head has no effect on her consciousness. She kisses him and they lie down on the bed together. In the morning, Howard sobers up and remembers that today they are going to the Speaker of the House. Alice brings her friends to the meeting. She meets the Speaker of the House and asks, when will he approve the new health insurance law? But the Speaker of the House does not know what law he is talking about and says that he has never approved such laws in his life. He wants to build a military base on the moon and call it after himself. Alice does not understand why the man refused her. Howard intervenes in the conversation and says that this small law will have a good effect on the reputation of the Speaker of the House. But the man still refuses. He takes a bite of the Girl Scout cookies and praises the girls for helping him. But at this moment, the girls learn the truth that Shakira will not come to meet them. They were deceived. The girls promise to destroy the military base construction company and leave. At this moment, the Speaker of the House becomes ill. He choked on a cookie. The pastor tries to help him, but doesn't work. The man falls to the floor. The secretary brings defibrillators, and Howard tries to save the man. But Pam Hendrickson turns off the defibrillator. Wait, no, he's my Let him help you. The woman pretends to be very worried about her deceased boss. Pam did this because she believes that the lunar base project should belong only to her. A lot of people come to the funeral. At this time, Scott is watching TV and notices his ex-girlfriend, Alice. He tells his current girlfriend that they need to break up because he has fallen in love with Alice again. During the funeral, Pam prepares her speech. She should pretend that she is very sorry for the Speaker of the House, and she should also once again state that he approved the construction of a military base on the moon. Alice asks Howard what should they do now. Howard says it's unlikely they'll be able to come up with a new law. For this to happen, a miracle needs to happen and Alice decides to act. She stands up and says that the Speaker of the House was a great man. She says that she was in his office at the time of his death, and she blames herself for not being able to save him. She expresses her condolences to the man's wife and family. She says a lot of good things about a man she never knew. Pam sees this and tries to explain to the widow that Alice is deceiving everyone, but the widow tells Pam to shut up. Alice says that the day the Speaker of the House died, she was in his office and asked him to approve a new health insurance law, and he agreed because he was a very kind person. Alice created a sensation, and everyone begins to applaud her. She says that they must help her bring the work of the deceased Speaker to the end. Alice and her friends are happy that they managed to deceive everyone. But only Howard understands that if Pam finds him, she will kill him or fire him. He says that he is very happy for Alice and jumps out of the window. 
He's a complicated, beautiful man. But of course, laws are not passed so easily. Girl Scouts decided to help Alice. Together, they begin to campaign for the adoption of a new law and the abolition of the construction of a military base on the moon. They even record a staged video of themselves performing a surgical operation at home. Pam tries to tarnish Alice's reputation in every possible way, and people are divided in their opinions. At one of the events, Scott comes to Alice and he begs Alice to return with him to their hometown. She understands that Hendrickson bribed him. He says that he doesn't care about the money he received. He loves Alice and they still have a chance to be together, but Alice is not going to give up. Scott promises to find Howard to prove his loyalty to Alice. He asks his police friends in the area to help him find Howard. Scott soon finds him. Howard participates in the ritual with the shamans. After completing the task, he will become a real man. During the fight, Howard loses and Scott helps him. He says that a real man does what he wants and he doesn't need to prove anything. They arrive at the rally and Howard declares from the stage that he will fight for a new law for the sake of all people who need help. Howard confesses his love to Alice and kisses her. For this, he immediately gets hit in the face. She's my girl, all right? I got you for her bill, that's it. The next day, they all go to Congress together, but it will be difficult for them to get approval for the new law because Pam has become the new Speaker of the House. Howard is trying to explain to politicians that the health insurance law is more important than building a moon base, but Pam interrupts him. She asks to enter the building of Howard's ex-girlfriends, whom he helped promote their projects. One day, he helped his girlfriend build a military base. Howard says he didn't know they were going to build a military base. Pam makes everyone believe that Alice is using Howard for her own greedy ends. Alice feels bad and turns on actress mode. She gives a touching speech about how ordinary citizens cannot pay for their treatment and are forced to suffer. She falls and says that she believes in America. Howard asks the politicians to vote, but almost everyone votes against it. Pam won. Then Howard decides to sacrifice himself. Alice feels really bad, and she completely despairs. Keishan is also upset because his girlfriend found out about his illness and left him. Scott suggests they go home. Alice doesn't want to leave without Howard, but she notices that he is negotiating something with the assistant who helped him at the beginning of the film. Scott says that Howard betrayed her and they should go home. Howard stood before Congress and apologized for what he did. He says that he fully supports the construction of a military base and asks to be returned to his position. Alice, hearing this, understands that he betrayed her. She leaves for the hotel. Alice packs her things and wants to return home as soon as possible. But at that moment, on TV, the news reports that Howard was fired from Congress because the new bill on fitness centers included a health insurance law that would help Alice and her friends get medical care. Howard, during an interview, confesses his love to Alice and says that he had to pretend that he betrayed her. Alice is delighted with what happened. Alice runs outside and sees Howard. She runs to him and kisses him. Scott isn't too upset because he has another girlfriend. Keishan healed his anus and decided to marry his girlfriend. Alice and Howard were best men at the wedding and had a fun time. And this is where the film ends. Write your opinion about this in the comments. Like and click on the bell to be the first to watch new videos.